Is it rolling an egg around? So that's what the Kiwi is looking for. Her egg. <laughs> Hero! Woohoo! Stoat chase! Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. Hi, Leo. Well, I found a bird and I can't quite figure it out. It's a little furry and has a long, thin beak. But guess what? It has no wings. Here, I took a photo of it. A bird with no wings? That's odd. Sure is. I found it circling around the same place last night, poking the ground with its beak. And it was screeching loudly. I think it might have lost something. That sounds like a real mystery. I can look for more information about the bird on the computer. Great. Then we'll head over to help you solve the mystery, Kyle. Cool. I'll share my location in New Zealand. See you both in a bit. Ranger out. Ranger out. All right. Let's go find out more about this mysterious bird. It seems the mystery bird is a kiwi. Kiwi? Like the kiwi fruit? Do they share the same name because they're both furry? That's actually not fur on the kiwi bird, but thin hair-like feathers. Cool. And does it really not have wings? No, it does have wings. Tiny ones that are hidden under its feathers. They're too small to help the kiwi fly, though, so it gets around by walking on the ground instead. So the bird that Kyle found is a kiwi. That's one mystery solved. All we have left is to figure out what it lost. Let's head to New Zealand to help the kiwi. Oh, it looks like paw prints. They look so big. There's a whole trail of them. Three eggs, four eggs. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to New Zealand. Cool stilts, Ranger Rocky. What were you doing up there? I was just making sure those eggs are safe. There have been reports of missing eggs from birds' nests. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But no worries, Junior Rangers. I'm on the case. We're here to help Kyle with a kiwi who seems to have lost something, too. Ah, kiwis are fascinating birds. Unlike most birds, they dig burrows instead of building nests in the trees. And they are the only birds in the world with nostrils at the end of their long beaks. They're super sniffers. Exactly. Kiwis use their super nose to find worms and bugs in the ground to eat. They like eating seeds and grubs, too. I better get back to work. Those eggs aren't going to count themselves. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky. We better get to work, too. What are you doing up there? Oh, hello, guys. I figured it out. This little bird probably lost its home, so I built it a new one. Do you like your new nest? Oh, do you not like it? That's a kiwi, Kyle. Kiwis don't live in nests in the trees. They live in burrows on the ground. Oh, a kiwi? Sorry, kiwi. I didn't know you lived in a burrow. It's searching again. What could it be searching for? That's what we're here to solve. The mystery of the kooky kiwi. It brought us to its burrow. We should search its home for clues. I'm on it. Looks like your standard burrow here. Dark, cozy, burrowy. Ha! <laughs> What's this? A clue. It looks like fur. Let's check if it belongs to the kiwi. Hmm. It doesn't look like a match. Yes. It's a different color, which means... The kiwi has a jacket that's a different color? And the kiwi's looking for it? No, Kyle. Kiwis don't wear jackets. It means the fur in the burrow belongs to another animal. An intruder. All right, Katie. That makes more sense. But who could the intruder be? <laughs> what did you find, Hero? Paw prints. Kiwis don't leave such prints. They must belong to the intruder. Time to find out who this intruder is. I sent you a photo of the paw prints, Katie. A stoat? 
Stoats are mischievous animals that tend to disturb birds, particularly those living on the ground. There's more of them over here. Come on, let's follow the prince. Hopefully they'll lead us to the stoat. Over there, a stoat. It's the same color as the fur we found in the kiwi's burrow. Is it rolling an egg around? So that's what the kiwi is looking for, her egg. <laughs> Hero. Woohoo! Stoat chase. Stop right there. Huh? Where's everyone? Whoa, uh, excuse me. Ah! Come here. Wait a second. Where's the egg? Where's Hero? Over there. Got it. Phew. We did it. We found what the kiwi was looking for. Here you go, kiwi. Mystery solved. Mission accomplished, Detective Katie. Embark on an incredible adventure with Leo the Wildlife Ranger. Choose a level. Dive into thrilling challenges and solve fun puzzles, all while exploring the wonders of nature. Tons of captivating gameplay and educational content await as you help Mother Nature and save the Earth. Introducing offline play and watch videos on the go. Leo the Wildlife Ranger Kids Games app, where adventure and learning collide. Download now and let the journey begin. This is weird. It sure is, Leo. There are holes everywhere. Who do you think dug them up? Was it you, Hero? Well, I guess the mystery will have to wait. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kai. Are you diving? How's the water? Hi, Leo. The water is just fine. But look what I just found on the ocean floor. A sand circle. You found that on the ocean floor? It's unbelievable. Look at those patterns. The circle could be a message. Maybe a signal for an alien invasion. Aliens? Aliens? Should we destroy it? We don't want animals getting abducted. I think we should look for more information about the circle first. I can run the photo through the computer to find out more. Good idea, Katie. In the meantime, stay put, Kai. Don't do anything until we learn more. Got it. I'll be waiting for you guys in the waters of Amamiyoshima Island. Ranger out. Ranger out. There's no alien invasion. The sand circle was created by the white-spotted puffer fish. A fish made that circle? That's right, Leo. To create the sand circle, the white-spotted puffer fish swims along the seabed and uses its fins to construct detailed patterns. The puffer fish even decorates the circle with seashells. It takes up to 10 days for the puffer fish to complete its masterpiece. That's amazing! Let me tell Kai about it. He'll be so glad to know that there's no alien invasion. Hmm, he's not picking up. If he's diving deep underwater, the signal on his communicator could be out of range. Let's just head to Amami Oshima Island to find him. I'd like to see the amazing circle for myself. Thanks for coming over so quickly. No worries, Kai. We have some good news. I have some good news, too. But you go first. There's no alien invasion. The sand circle was created by the white-spotted pufferfish, not aliens. Wait, what? The pufferfish spends more than a week working on the circle, so we really shouldn't be destroying it. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? Um, my good news is that the sand circle has been destroyed, but I guess that's bad news. Hi. I had nothing to do with it because I was waiting for you guys. Who destroyed it then? Well, you have to see it to believe it. Follow me. Meet the destroyer of sand circles, the humpback whale. 
This was not what I was expecting. Me neither. Look, it's the white spotted pufferfish. Oh no, it looks upset. <gasps> What's happening to it now? It says here that when the pufferfish is afraid, it takes water into its stomach to make itself look bigger. What a swell idea! <laughs> <laughs> because it swells itself up. <laughs> Let's get a bit closer. I'm worried for the pufferfish. I'd like to see if I can get a better view of it, just to make sure it's okay. <gasps> the whale is headed this way! the whale is gone, the pufferfish is creating a new sand circle. That gives me an idea. We'll distract the whale while the pufferfish works on it. Ah! Ah! I'm getting dizzy. Oh no, I think it's done playing with us. Oops, sorry, I didn't see you there. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here? I found a sand circle on the ocean floor and thought that aliens were responsible for them. But we found out that it was actually made by the white spotted pufferfish. That's right, Leo. The male white spotted pufferfish creates such intricate patterns in the sand to attract the female. If she likes what she sees, she lays her eggs in the center of the circle. I'll lead the whale away with my singing. Oh! Oh! It's working! The whale is following him! Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Thank you! It's just us now, Mr. Pufferfish. Don't worry, we'll help you build your circle. It's beautiful! <gasps> Look who's swimming over! Yay! She likes the circle! Nice. How did yours turn out, Leo? Um, <laughs> it's a little abstract. Ranger Leo speaking. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. How's the zebra migration going? Have they found fresh grass? Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. The zebras are still on the move, but a mother zebra has lost its baby in the herd. <gasps> oh no! Luckily, I have a photo of it. Can you come over to help me find the baby? Of course, Jane. The photo will come in handy. Hang tight. We'll be right over. Cool. I'll send you my location. Ranger out. Ranger out. Now let's go. Let's find out more about zebras. And get away from this pesky fly. Here it is. The plains zebra. Plains zebras are the most common species of zebras. Zebras are part of the horse family, and they are known for their black and white stripes. Every year, thousands of zebras migrate, traveling over great distances to look for food, like fresh grasses and water. Oh boy, that's a lot of them, and they all look the same. Actually, each zebra has a different stripe pattern. 
No two zebras have the same stripes. Like human fingerprints, its pattern is unique. So we just have to match the stripes. And since we have a picture of the baby zebra, it'll be a snap. Hmm, stripes and patterns? I think I'll bring our paint along, just in case. Good idea, Katie. Look at all those zebras. Hi, Jane. Hi, Zumi. Hi, Leo. Hi, Kitty. Don't worry, Mama Zebra. We'll find your baby. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. That is a lot of stripes. Whoa, too many. Huh? Leo, are you okay? Oh, thanks, Katie. <laughs> the stripes are a little confusing. Hmm, let's see what else we can find. Ouch, not again. And I thought the fly in our backyard was bad. This fly is worse. It bites. I got it. It says here that scientists scan zebra stripes like barcodes to tell them apart. Uh-huh. So, we can do the same thing. I'll make a zebra stripe scanner. Got it. Now I just have to. Done. There is our scanner. Cool. You just have to aim it at a zebra. And it's a success if the stripes match. Aim at a zebra. Ugh, these pesky flies are getting in the way. Why aren't the flies bugging the zebras? Maybe it's because they've got stripes and you don't. <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What do you mean, Ranger Rocky? Not only do zebra stripes look cool, we're starting to find out that it could be pretty useful, too. Scientists think that one of its functions is to confuse insects like flies, making it harder for them to land on zebras. And if they can't land, they can't bite. Nifty, don't you think? I'll be buzzing off now. Bye, Bye Ranger Rocky. Rocky! How are we gonna get stripes, Katie? Oh, you'll see. This is so cool. It's a good thing you brought the paint over. Hopefully, this will get those flies to buzz off. Now, let's get back to looking for the baby zebra. We'll have to scan every one of them. Katie, Hero, and I will use our jetpacks to get a better view. Jane, you brought your own ride? The baby's mother insisted. <laughs> let's go, Rangers. Jetpack jet activate. activate. <laughs> What if we scanned all the zebras at once? I'll have to use your camera, Hero. It's scanning. Let's see if we can find a match this time. Oh, what's this? It's a match. We found the baby. Yes! <gasps> Leo, no! Oops! <laughs> Huh? Oh, no! Jane, we've got trouble! I know! Can you get to the baby? I'm sending you its coordinates. We'll take care of the herd. Got it! Stop it! Calm down! There's nothing to be afraid of! Hang in there, little one. We can't keep this up much longer. We need something to stop these zebras. Something to stop them? Way to go, Zumi. We did it. See, told you guys it'd be a snap. Well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon.